Many people used to have large to medium sized ponds in their lawn or backyard as a part of their hobby or simply to add beauty to their house. But what about people who lacks large open spaces in their house or who thinks it's a costly task or even who are scared of time commitment? Well, there are various ways of creating a mini pond in the simplest way which is both cost efficient and time efficient. So let's get it started. This thermocol box will be suitable to make the mini pond. For the substrate, I'm using sand. Some pebbles of medium to small sizes. Some large pieces of stones. A pond is incomplete without aquatic plants. For my pond, I'm using water lettuce pennywort indian pennywort water chestnut ludwigia Floating ferns like Salvinia cucullata and Salvinia minima. Elio cherries. And banana lilies like Nymphoides aquatica and Nymphoides indica. Finally, a clay pot with some holes as a hideout for the fishes. Now let's clean the box. We also need to check if there is any leakage in the box. After cleaning the box, let's clean the stones and the clay pot. Now let's rinse the pebbles and drain them. The most important thing is to make a substrate for the aquatic plants. I only added compost and garden soil for the substrate. I planted the aloe cherries and Ludwigia together in a bigger bowl while pennywort and banana lily separately in smaller bowls. Finally adding pebbles at the top to hold the plants from floating. Let's select a perfect spot for the mini pond. Keeping a gap at the base reduces the chances of snails crawling inside the box. Let's add sand at the base. Finally, resettling the level of the sand. Now, let's add the plants that we planted before along with the clay pot hideout and the large stones in a decorative way. I also added two stems of lucky bamboo. Adding a clean plastic before adding water is a very important step. It helps to keep the sand undisturbed from the flow of water.
Now let's leave it for 30 minutes. Dirts from the sand will float at the top which needs to be removed carefully. Now let's add the floating plants one by one. I really appreciate your valuable time you gave to us. If you like this video, please hit a like and subscribe our channel. I also added a peperomia stem to my mini pond. Finally, let's add the fishes and feed them. As I said, it is very easy to make a mini pond in the simplest and cheapest way. But the most important thing is to take care of the pond on a regular basis. Only the correct maintenance will keep the pond lasts for a longer time. Taking a good care of the aquatic plants will keep the pond clean and the fishes happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Till then, be sustainable and be creative.